Hey, it's Donnie here. Got my water. It's a beautiful day out today, but it's, I think, only six, six degrees Celsius. Going to go down to two degrees Celsius tonight. It was awesome yesterday to get out and uh, run a few saws. I'm going to start doing that a little bit more. Uh, ran that old 056 you see there and the old Husqvarna vintage one and then my friend Dave's um, dad's MS361 I did for him found a few boxes some old pictures kind of cool some old motorcycle Husqvarna ones I got these posters from the museum in Husqvarna years ago and I suggest anyone to go check that out it's one of the best museums I've been through for for an industrial company Husqvarna has made everything from sewing machines, stoves, <coughs> the microwaves, you name it, man. They've been doing it. Guns, snowmobile engines, uh, saws, uh, snowmobiles, you name it, man. Everything you think that we have here, they made there years ago before us. So I wanted to uh, just say thanks to all the comments, to everyone that made them in the last couple days in the saws. It was cool. And... I just thought I'd show a little tech stuff this morning here on throttle cables and maintenance stuff on uh, like Husky 390s and 300 series. The throttle cables on these saws get war and then they, they don't let it go back to idle. And I'll show you something here to test. You can test it real quickly by just taking your top cover off and your air filter. So let me just quickly grab this camera. I'm going to show you here. So take take your top cover off, air filter off, right? <coughs> and here we go. Here's your throttle. Normally this line is attached to the throttle. So if your throttle butterfly or lever isn't coming back to the idle stop here it does right now right and if I take the line off it still does if you hook the line back up and it doesn't go down to idle then you know you have a problem with your throttle cable like this one I showed you that's wore through and making it hang open guys think that their saws are sucking air <coughs> which they can be as well you could still have a seal or a car boot ripped right you know, this one had a slightly ripped car boot and a bad throttle cable. So that was the problem with it. Plus, it needed a fuel filter. Come on, guys. Change them every month. And look at this spark plug. Look at the carbon buildup on that baby. Okay? Terrible. But that's why you should throw one in once in a while. You can see that very good. My lenses are a little dirty, maybe. But anyways, come on. 20 bucks right there, not even that, maybe in the U.S. Change them out. Especially in this season with the rain, you're going to get water in that uh, in your gas tank every time you take your take your uh, fuel cap off, right? You know, these ones aren't so bad, but the, you know, the ones that are like the flip top ones, like on stills, and even the newer Huskies, every time you flip that and move them around, some stuff, debris goes into your gas tank and your oil, oil system. That's where, um, you know, you want to be changing that fuel filter once in a while. And sometimes dump gas into your oiler when there's no oil in the chain, chain oil in the reserve. And swish it around so it gets a lot of that, uh, that um, sawdust out of there. And then dump it out then put it back together. If you don't have a chance to take the whole clutch and oiler off and clean the screen of the oil pickup. So that's just some, some maintenance stuff. You see what I mean though? <clears throat> if it doesn't go back to the idle and you hook the line up and, and it, it, it doesn't go back, you know there's something wrong with your throttle wire. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Keep your saw under it, stick in the ice, rubber in the road. Check out the walkersawshop.com online store. Have a great Friday. It's TGIF. Uh, just uh, finished a couple cylinders for next week's bills, an 064 and an 066 and a 394 cylinder for uh, Tom Walker. I'll get them back together next week for everyone and get them back off to you. And where else I got to go? Ah, that's about it. Lots, man. But yeah, it was nice cutting yesterday. It was a beautiful day. You seen that stuff work. Hopefully I explained the carb uh, adjusting uh, not too badly. I did put a comment on there about that. 
but you get what I mean. Get it to that four stroking sound and turn it into it sounds a little nicer and it's cutting good, but don't go any farther. You know, fuel is power and if it's set properly, right? Or you can damage your saw. Anyways, have a great Friday. Have a good weekend. Get those kids out and yourself and have some fun in the woods or the mountains or water or whatever, man. Just have a great day. Keep smiling. Bye.